Tonight, police are investigating an early morning mass shooting in the north suburbs that left five people wounded. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is in Wheeling with an update on how the victims are recovering. Dave, we did touch base with the friends of the victims at the house after the shooting happened. They weren't ready to speak with us on camera, but they did tell us that all five victims are expected to be okay. Four of the five are already home from the hospital. Around 5 a.m. in Wheeling, gunshots ripped through the sounds of cicadas. Rapid, rapid fire gunshots. Pow, 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 pow. We spoke with a neighbor who was nervous, showing his face or giving his name before police make any arrests. His bedroom sits right next to where the shots rang out. Well, I mean, anything could have happened. I, I don't know. You know, I'm glad nothing did happen. <laughs> Wheeling police say a group got into a disagreement at a nearby bar in Prospect Heights. A few of those people peeled off and went home, while others in that group came by later and started firing into this house, injuring five on Fletcher. Because I saw the, you know, the fire truck and the ambulances roll up, and, and I knew something, something had happened. We went into every Prospect Heights bar that is open late until we found the one where the group started their night. The owner insists no fight, argument, or altercation of any kind happened before they left, that it had nothing to do with their business. We're leaving their name out as police confirm shooting only happened in front of this house. I've been here 30 years and uh, probably won't have nothing like that happen in the next 30 years. Police tell us that the house in question was never a concern to them previously. Again, all of the victims are between the ages of 28 and 30. They're all expected to be OK. No arrests at this time. We're in Wheeling. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.